Hello and welcome to the first ever live show for A Game of One's Own, a podcast Woo-hoo! which... <laughs> Thank you. This is an actual play podcast which focuses on solo and two-player RPGs. I am your host, Maddie Searle. My pronouns are she, her. And with me, I have a very special guest, Zachary fortis Gong. Hello, my name is Zach and I, I am definitely here in this space. With all these wonderful people, I am from the fabulous podcast that Maddie is also part of called Realms of Peril and Glory, uh, which, uh, you know, as as the adverts say, uh, one shots to campaigns, indie games to established titles. We've got it all with lovely original music and marvelous sound design and a stunning cast of players, including Maddie Searle and uh, other marvelous people from around the actual play space. So please go check us out at realmspod.com. But we're here to play something different. (laughs) Yes, we are here to play To the Bitter End by Takuma Okada from the Ultimate Micro RPG book edited by James D'Amato. It is a game in which Zach and I are going to be playing Bitter Rivals. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, so over Thank three. You. We'll, we'll slip yeah. the money in later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you've, you've you've done your job well. Uh, <laughs> we uh, are going to be doing, if time allows, three rival battles and then one final battle. And the final battle involves us basically playing rock paper scissors, which is <laughs> incredible. Uh, so to start, we need to start creating our characters. Um, the setting that we have decided to go for is space bounty hunters in space. So uh, jetpacks galore, etc. Um, and so, uh, Zach, yes. what do you want to name your character? Uh, Squink. Squink, excellent. <laughs> yep, that's. I think that that's all we need, right? Yeah, just perfect. vague some syllables, smash them together. Yeah, space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Space. Very, very George Lucas of you. Um, <laughs> uh, in that case, I'm going to be Pronk. Oh, good. Squink and Pronk, two rivals. Hate absolutely hatred fuels their yep. veins. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what does your character look like? Uh, I think I'm a classic uh, green alien guy with antenna and like blue giant, just blue eyes. Not like no pupils or anything. Just the giant bug eyes that are like monochromatic. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. I think I am essentially just a cat person. Good. Because anything like the universe is infinite, cat people yeah. will exist somewhere. Well, welcome to the world of Pandora, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, it's a ma- an amazing coincidence that uh, something <laughs> that humans find so cute is an actual person on another planet. Yeah. It's it's beautiful. The world is magical. Uh, <laughs> so uh, now we need to figure out what our core questions are. Um, mm-hmm. So these are the things that we're going to be stealing from each other, destroying each other's mm-hmm. things, trying to uh, get under each other's skin as much yeah. as possible by getting at what's most important to us. So uh, the first question is, what is a place that's important to you? Ooh, what's a place that's important to me? I think there is a bar on like some like like Schmebulon 5 or something like that uh, that I always go to and I'm a regular but you've started getting, I don't know if this is the point where I start making things up about our relationship, but if it is, I feel like you come to this bar and like have started getting friendly with like the bar staff and I'm really grumpy about that. Yeah. Like, no, this is my place. Yeah, yeah, you sit at my table, thank you. Mm, oh, like you have a chair that has like your name engraved on it and I'm like, this is mine now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. great. Yeah, I paid for this bar. Mm-hmm. So what my my special place will be, what's the place that's important to me? Um, I think it will be like uh, because because I have a I have a really sort of grungy, uh, rugged image as a bounty hunter. But actually, mm. the place that's important to me is a petting zoo. Oh, that's yeah. And so uh, I go there to unwind and pet all the little slimy <laughs> slime balls. <laughs> Uh, and all the little um, things that look suspiciously like rabbits but aren't because it's in space. Yes. They they, they somehow like have a third eye that comes out and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really gross. Yeah, so that, the, so that when they make the film, they can just use real rabbits and then like do the yeah. tiniest bit of CGI yeah. to make them look like aliens. That tracks. Yeah. Uh, excellent. Uh, what is your dearest possession? I think I've got a gun, like a laser gun that my – dad uh squink uh, senior uh <laughs> who passed it down to me he was uh, a bounty hunter as well and i've taken up his mantle excellent uh, yeah and i and i and i hold that very dear 
Cool. Um, I think I'm going to go for a weapon as well. I think I'm going to copy you. And I'm going to go for like a laser spear. Yeah, okay, that's really sick. Because yeah. <laughs> I was I just like, what is <laughs> no. what is a weapon that is not normally laser? A spear. Good. <laughs> now here's a question. Is it like, is it a physical metal item or is it like a pack that generates like spears of light that you throw? I think there's a metal component in the middle that you hold yeah. and then the back end and the front end and the pointy part are laser. Basically like a double-ended lightsaber yeah. but like smaller. Smaller and throwable. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, second to last question, whose respect must you earn? <laughs> my dad. <laughs> <laughs> legit, legit. Yeah. I think my dad's still alive and is really disappointed in like how I've gone with the family business of <laughs> bounty hunting. And like I, I've taken it in a slightly different direction. I don't know what that is yet, but like he really is disappointed in me. And I'm just like, God, dad, please love me. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I think my the person that I need to earn respect from is my uh, kind of combat mentor who oh. taught me like mixed martial arts or something. And then I went off and like sold out and used my abilities for financial gain. Mm. And they're like, nah, that's that's not cool, bro. So cool, cool, normal guys. We've got <laughs> yeah. two really good, normal people. Yes, yes. Uh, and last but not least, uh, who can you trust? Um, I think I've got, does it have to be like a, a sentient person or can it be like a cat? It could be a cat. I'm going to have a cat. Nice. I'm going to have a cat called something silly. I don't know what it's going to be yet. I'll tell you. But, um, <laughs> but I think that is the only relationship I have that is strong. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Cool. Uh, I think I have a romantic partner. Nice. Uh, and I think, I think yeah. Squink might hate you for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Legit. Cool. Uh, yeah. I think not a bounty hunter, probably just like runs a really nice like indie shop on a on a sort of relatively quiet planet where uh, it's li like they live on the cottage core planet. Yeah. And I go and visit them in just between. Begging you to retire. Yeah. Like, yeah. Stop. Stop this. You're yeah. going to be killed. <laughs> Which I might in this game. Who knows? Yeah. Um, so I'll have to yeah. Go. I'll have to go to their their cottage core planet and be like i'm sorry i'm sorry i killed i killed pronk <laughs> excellent so uh finally uh for character creation we need two abilities mm -hmm. they can be anything but they have to uh be related to the setting okay so what do you think um uh, there's a little, whole list in the book but we can always i think i'm really good at flying it. spaceships nice um and I think I can. You are. You've already got like martial arts stuff, don't you? Yeah, I might. I might take that as my first ability. So I think I'm going to be a cool computer hacker. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have mixed martial arts, and um, I'm going to have stealth tech. Oh yeah, good. So yeah, I'm going to have like basically a stealth boy from Fallout, but in space. Yeah. I'm going to hack your stealth tech, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think we are on to the next part of uh, the actually playing the game. So uh, we need to choose one of our rival's cores and then okay. cross it out. So which which one do you want to... What are the uh, cores? So, the so cores these are... are like the bar, the laser gun, the cat, the dad. The... So, so if I cross it out, what do you mean? So this is the thing that we're going to be <laughs> fighting over. Um, and her, like, So yeah, this is the first thing that you're going to lose, the, essentially. The opening salvo of, yeah. of pain. Yeah. Okay. So what are your cores? So my cores are petting zoo, laser spear, mentor, and partner. What do you, do you want to go big first? Do you want to go big first? How much do you like that petting zoo? <laughs> <laughs> I really like it. It's I'm going to nuke that petting zoo for more of it. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I love it. Okay. All those third eye bunnies. Cross it out, yeah. Just incinerated. Yeah. Uh, oh, now, now I, as, as, a, as a human person who likes cats and as a cat person... This would be like a big emotional conflict yeah. to destroy oh, your no. cat. I don't think I'm going to start off with that, even though that kind of links. That does suit. feel very that that feels nuclear to me. Yeah, to be fair. Yeah, I did just nuke. <laughs> I did just nuke a petting zoo. So I think um, since we've kind of our, our rivalry, we've sort of established just started at the bar. I think I'm gonna yeah. like I'm gonna kind of turn the bar staff against you and like get you barred oh. from the bar. Oh. 
Oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> so now we need to roll a d6 um okay. and this will determine what happens to this to the core. Both of us? Um yes. Okay. So I got a six. I got a six. We got we got six. <laughs> yeah. We destroy or remove the core. I like I said, yeah, I nuke your I nuke your petting zoo from orbit. And I and I uh, get you barred from the bar. I think that's I think my I think you get me barred because I'm just an asshole. Yeah. And then my retaliation is <laughs> magnitudes bigger. <laughs> Just like so much worse. Cool. So we need to decide what ability or abilities we use to accomplish these tasks. So yeah. But I think I is it one of the skills that I've already established? Yeah, yeah. I think I hack my way into like a weapons silo, steal a nuke, load it onto my spaceship, and then drop it on your petting zoo. <laughs> I've established this. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm I think I'll use my stealth tech to like sneak into the bar where when you're there yeah. and oh, like no. and turn and poison everyone's minds against you. <laughs> And just like, and maybe like leave some weird stuff in the toilets, um, so, and they think it's you. <laughs> like some, it's like some space drugs. Like, sh- uh, <laughs> like drawing sharpie, like rude words, yeah. and then like, attribute them to me. Yeah, like yeah. I hate everyone at this bar, comma squink. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they made the best margaritas. No. <laughs> All right. Well, we have to meet on the battlefield. Where is where is the <laughs> battlefield? So maybe so maybe the petting zoo and the bar are next door to each other. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, <laughs> on this on this weird I planet. I really went <laughs> scorched earth on the bar, didn't I? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very targeted strike. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we need to take turns taking actions. Uh, okay. So we should each go two or three times per battle. And uh, so, yeah, in terms of actions, uh, there are various options in the book, but Ooh. we can also, I think, just kind of riff off it. Where um, is, is this? The... Um, yes. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, mm. um, what do you think your first action would be to nuke the betting zoo? I mean, you've already said hacking. Yeah, so I think I'm going to, first of all, locate with my hacking abilities the location of an extreme weapon and, uh, yeah, and, and, and steal it. Excellent, excellent. Um, yeah, my first action would be to, to sneak into the bar itself with my stealth tech and uh, make sure that you don't spot me. Yeah. Then what's what's your next next move? I'm stealing the nuke. Yeah. Yep. Stealing, <laughs> stealing the nuke. Yep. Yep. I feel like we've already sort of established. We've kind of done this. We've kind of done we? this already. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. So uh, and then our uh, next step is uh, we part ways and we figure think of what mark this battle will uh, our character remember when they think of our, their rival. Uh, and we write it down, so, and we get we gain an ability because of this mark. So okay. it's like so it's both a trauma and a I'm gonna I'm gonna learn this skill because of this awful thing that happened. Sure. So so what what ability will you well, like? Yeah. What what how, mark? How practical does yeah. this have to be? How I, practical does the skill I learn have to be? I don't think it needs to be practical. Can I learn how to make margaritas? Yes. <laughs> 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 yes, you absolutely can. Okay. Uh, can you make a mean margarita now? Cool. Uh, I what am I gonna do? I'm going to learn how to um, look after a three eye space rabbit. Oh yeah. I mean, I did... like I think there's one survivor, and I take them. I feel like I've done so much more damage than you. Just on a <laughs> just on a like I I feel like I'm immediately just the bad guy already. <laughs> like you've like done some social stealth, and I've been like, go fuck yourself, <laughs> just burn it all. I love it. I love it. It's great. Okay. Um. <laughs> excellent. Uh. And. Yeah, and uh, there's a n- nice bit in the game where it t- says you like you can talk out of character about how the game mm-hmm. is going, if you like what's happening, if you want to change anything. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's always good for like self care, tabletop safety, very much. How do you uh, think it's going so far? I think it's going very well. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I'm not feeling good about my choices. I think I made yeah. some <laughs> bad choices, but I feel like you know. yeah, I feel good about your bad choices. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, <laughs> okay. Next battle. Uh, okay, which of my cores do you want to get rid of? Oh, no. Okay, so this is our second battle now. Yes. How, how Can I just, like, I don't know. How does this go? I kind of want to just, like, <laughs> I just want to hustle you somehow. <laughs> like. Yeah, so I've got so my you're... laser spear, my mentor, and my partner. You don't necessarily, yeah. Um, it's, okay. we, you don't need to decide what you actually do to it now because yeah. the roll of the dice will determine how severe it is. I think I'm going to target your... Laser spear. Cool. 
And I think the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to I'm going to send you a message and say, whoa, 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 whoa. I think both of us, both of us have taken things too far. <laughs> we need to sit down and have a parlance. OK. OK. Yeah. Because you <laughs> got me barred from my favorite bar. And I also did some things. So <laughs> let's just sit and talk it out. And I think I'm going to um, arrange some kind of meeting between us in the hopes that you bring your laser spear and then sneakily kind of get it away from you. Cool. Okay. That sounds good. Um Stop it, because that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Don't preempt me. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get you very drunk. <laughs> Brilliant. I love it. Okay. I think. Okay, because the petting zoo was pretty, um, pretty extreme. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna um, try. I'm gonna find your dad and be like, uh, "Did you hear what your child did? Did you? Did you? Do you know how petty your child is?" Daddy, no. Daddy, no, no, you don't understand. <laughs> you got me barred from the bar, Daddy. <laughs> okay, you so can hold six and destroy my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Just absolutely incinerate your dad. Yeah. Cool. Okay, let's roll and see what happens. God, that would really free me. Oh, I got three. So I steal or usurp the core. I did another six. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. So, what's what's your first move? To destroy your laser spear? Yes. I think I, as we've prefaced, I think yeah. I invite you to my spaceship where I have a full bar of many different tequilas and I'm just like, you gotta try this one from like the Camino home world. Oh, really? And yeah. Like, yeah. So like if you just, yeah, but this one has a tahine rim. So yeah, try <laughs> and I just like ply you with various different margaritas and while you're kind of like, tipsy i just like i'm not drinking any i just stealthily grab your laser spear mm. i think just chuck it in my warp core or something <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like sent to another part of the universe yeah yeah or, <laughs> or obliterated just, or, or obliterated yeah, yeah. yeah excellent cool uh so since i am in your place I'm going to use my stealth tech to, like, when I go to the bathroom, I'm going to rummage through your stuff and find, like, the the codes to call your dad. Oh, no. I feel like we should act out the call with my dad. Yeah. Do you want to do you wanna be my dad? Um, well, I have to be me because I am telling, or, or yeah. Do you, but you can you can tell me what my father's reaction is, oh, surely, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. You, you could be my dad. Yeah, as I've always wanted you to be. Yeah, good. Um, and, <laughs> and I could be, I could be Squink, and you could tell me how disappointed you are. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's, or we could not do that. That's, that sounds good to me. That sounds good to me. Okay. So, oh, Squink. Squink. Daddy. I've Daddy, just, why are you calling? I've just, I've just had a call from a friend of yours. I don't have any friends, father. Well, you told me that friends made you weak. Well, that is true. Um, but this this friend, I'm using inverted commas, but you can't tell because I'm on the phone. Yes, of course. Uh, I hear the inverted commas, Daddy. Good. They feel so sarcastic. Thank you. That is my tone in all things. <laughs> uh, I uh, I had a call from your inverted commas friend, oh. and uh, it turns out that you have destroyed a petting zoo in a. No, but you don't understand, Daddy. <laughs> you don't understand. You got me barred from my favorite bar. What? Yes! Are you hanging out in bars? Fuck! <laughs> Shit! I mean, my favorite opera! <laughs> oh dear. You, you've really done it now, son. Oh, but you still love me, right, Daddy? There's this like long pause. No, <laughs> no, Daddy, no! <laughs> you hear him like put the kettle on to make a cup of tea and just like, hmm. Well, uh, and and you, you, like, there's no answer, and then he's like, "How's the family business going?" I've made so much money. Yes. How much? I, look, so I've been a bit distracted lately because I've been trying to get at this nuke, and um, that took a lot of my time. So I haven't actually been working that much. Um, but I, so I've got some irons in the fire. Uh, good. Okay. Uh, what was your last client? So I was, I was, 
investigating this um I was investigating this affair because uh, apparently I could also get some private investigator work and I'm also a bounty hunter that I remember that for sure. Um, <laughs> and, and, and the client wanted me to kill her husband and um, he kind of hit me and I didn't like that. So I just kind of, uh, I gave it up. Oh, interesting. So, uh, so you're a quitter. So you're a quitter and a loser. Oh, daddy. Daddy, no. I don't think we have anything I, more to talk about, son. I think Squink just weeps. <laughs> just openly weeps yeah. as the phone call ends. Daddy, no. Daddy, why? And just, prong! <laughs> yeah, and uh, trying to figure out when I realized that my laser spear is gone. Yeah. Do I, I realize in in your I, place? I or think later? it's probably the next day, maybe. Yeah, and then I think I'll I'll probably call you up and be like, squink, prong. What have you done? Only what you deserve. <laughs> you called my daddy. I only did that because I thought that you needed some discipline in your life. My relationship with my father was hanging on by a thread. Well, if it was only hanging by a thread, then it wasn't worth much anyway. I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> you took my prized laser spear. It's one of a kind. You took my daddy! <laughs> there was only one manufacturer, and they're dead now. I had Because one I daddy. killed them. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't get another laser spear. <laughs> we just cry on the yeah, phone to each yeah, other. Yeah, cool. Yeah, good. Excellent. So, what what ability do we gain from this clusterfuck? <laughs> I don't know. Is weeping a skill? <laughs> I don't know. Like emotional manipulation. <laughs> Pardon? Yeah, yeah. I'm really good at repressing emotions now. Yeah. <laughs> Repressed emotions. I think I'm going to like try and become like a weapons manufacturer so I can make my own uh, laser spear. <laughs> mine is infinitely less practical. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm power gaming this. <laughs> power gaming this <laughs> two page, two player game. Good, good, good. Uh, we're real, we're real power gamers here on a game of one zone. The yes. Solo and two player RPG <laughs> podcast. <laughs> yeah. Like, always boosting those stats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> min max into the max yeah. uh cool okay next battle this is uh this is our third one and then after this one is the final battle okay so we gotta we gotta take our time with this one we gotta really really ramp really up draw it out so we fill this hour slot that yeah we have. <laughs> yeah absolutely uh so we have to choose our cores mm -hmm. um what one of mine are you gonna well i get think there's of? only one left there's two left what is the what there's the my mentor and my partner <sighs> I think your relationship with your mentor is already messed up. I think by the sounds of it, you've got a real nice relationship with your romantic partner. Yeah, that, I, think that's, I think that's finale shit. Yeah. yeah, I think that's our final battle before we meet on the field. Yeah, I, 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 I'm just looking at yours and then thinking, I need, to, I need to take your laser gun this one so it can be my romantic partner versus your cat. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. This is the highest stakes. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so yeah, you going for my cat? Um, I'm going for your cat next turn. Okay, so I'll hold off on your romantic partner. So I'll go yeah. for your mentor. Cool, excellent. I love this negotiation that's going on. <laughs> uh, cool. Okay. Uh, let's let's roll. Let's see okay. see what happens. Um, and this works in with my me weapon manufacturing. Uh, oh yeah, De yeah. Destroy or reduce our. Yeah, yeah, I swear my dice are not loaded, but <laughs> I did get another six. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I can confirm. Uh, cool. Okay. Um, what's what's your first move in trying to uh, destroy or remove my mentor from I me? I think I've learned by the various warrants out for my arrest for destroying a petting zoo, uh, that maybe going nuclear is not the best option. And I've learned about the emotional stakes that one can have in a relationship as a demonstrated with my father. And so I think what I'm going to do is use my computer hacking skills to send, to find any dirt 
that you have out there in the galaxy of horrible things you've done in the pursuit of of bounties. And I'm just going to make a mega document of like images and horrible things. You can decide what those horrible things that you've done are. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm going to send them to your romantic partner uh, with a note that's like, it's like t- signed anonymously, but in a way that like only you would know it was me um, being like, you don't really know who your partner is. <laughs> Agoo. <laughs> it's the name of the show. Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. Oh, so you're going romantic partner rather than. Oh, no. Uh, what we said was I was going for. Or laser gun. No, that's mine. Oh, you're going for your mentor. mentor. Your mentor. Your mentor. Yes, I'll yeah. send it to the mentor. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Okay. Sweet. Um, and then for laser gun, I think I am going to like my first idea is to just go and like scan it so yeah. that I can like figure out how it works and like maybe like make my own replica. But then I just get like in this fit of rage. Yeah. And I just like sneak like do a classic like Elder Scrolls sneak up behind the eye symbol is on the screen. Um, I know that no one sees me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And uh, s- sort of get it out of its holster and just like, yeah. I'm just snoring. Sn- yeah. <laughs> I'm just like. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have to choose the battlefield for this as well. If we, um, but we, yeah. But we can also be laugh- fast and loose with we it. Can, we can. Look, this is a game of the mind. Yes. <laughs> no one can tell us what to do. Even you <laughs> in the audience, I'm pointing at them. You can't tell me what to do. Do you want to role play uh, the, the mentor conversation? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. So do I you desperately do. Hang on. So tell me what tell me about this mentor so I can embody them in the way that you envision. Yeah, I think um, I'm thinking very kind of Jedi Master sort of vibes, very like ascetic, very um, repressed. <laughs> this, you, this you, is where all my all my opinions <laughs> about Jedi come out. Um, okay. Uh, you, I think you just get a do you do you get a call or do they do they come to you? Mm, oh yeah, I think maybe they're they're they try and minimize their use of technology so they come and see me. So I think one day there's like a ding dong on your door, and uh, you see what what does this person look like? I th- I feel like they're flowing robes, but yeah. there is a like a a zip line to pull them so that it becomes tight fitting instantly, so they can instantly go into battle mode. Just warn me before I go too silly with this. Okay, do you want it to be silly? Because I'll do it silly. I oh, want it. silly is good. Okay. Silly is good. <clears throat> Bronk! I have heard that you have been doing rather nasty business. What? Who, who told you this slander? Well, it's signed anonymously. But look at these images of you decapitating the leader of the... Winky bomb mm. uh, <laughs> delegation to the Council of Green People. What? This is clearly Shoto popped. <laughs> I've broken Zach. I've done it. Six seconds. <laughs> Give him a minute. Give him a minute. Yeah, this is a really one-upmanship of like who can say the stupidest shit. <laughs> <laughs> you what? Sworn to live your life by a code. And you've done this muck. But, but my mentor, my great and powerful mentor, we live in a system. We live in a corrupt system. And we must be participate in the system in order to succeed. No! You must exist outside of the system. That is the only way you will receive true peace. What kind of peace do you have, alone, in your cave? I am one with the worlds of the galaxy. A oneness you'll never know now, for you are disgraced and ejected from the Order! (gasps) No, all the free passes and vouchers that I get. (laughs) 
from the from the from the amazing MMA order that's not Jedi's. You'll never receive your fifteen percent off from Jamba Juice again. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's the final straw. Yeah. <laughs> I just run out of the room. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> um, cool. Okay. So final battle. Uh, we only have one core left each. Well, we. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have yeah we have my romantic partner your cat, uh, <laughs> both both equally important and good. Uh, Not my cat. <laughs> I mean, as a cat owner, I completely get yeah, it. But you... as as my character, I'm like. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so fifteen percent uh, off a of Jamba Juice, man. Yes. Uh, so what um, is the final battlefield? Why is it oh. significant? What is our history with this place? I wonder if it's the smoldering ruins of like <laughs> the the petting zoo and the bar next door. Yeah. They've both <laughs> been like the first site of battle. Yeah. They've been like raised to the ground, mm. and we just meet in the smoldering smoldering heap both of us like yeah. openly weeping <laughs> yeah. just like yeah we've um maybe one of us has like the appropriate radioactive uh, protection and one doesn't yeah yeah <laughs> you do I, yeah. You, I, yeah. I i drop the nuke i'm like i'm fine <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i mean maybe maybe green antenna people are resistant to radiation no, no. okay no, the, no okay. this is a hard no but for me what will be your first move in this final confrontation? We've uh, like we've rung each other up and we're just like we need to finish this. This has gone. Yeah. This has gone far enough. We need to end this once and for all. I think I have abducted your romantic partner from their cottage core environment and brought them to this radioactive. <laughs> <laughs> I've really, I really laid my bed, made you're, my bed here. You're realizing what's happening as you're saying it. <laughs> really? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Um, I, <laughs> yeah, I brought your your romantic partner to this radioactive site where, <laughs> uh, where I presume you will meet me. I think with the, with the intention of like. I don't think I'm even aware of like the, the the radioactive nature. Just with the intention of like showing your romantic partner who you really are. <laughs> <laughs> nice, cool, and uh, yeah. Um, if you're the one who does this first, because it feels like mm. yeah, then then I will be like, well, I know where yeah. he lives because <laughs> he invited me there for margaritas that one time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so... <laughs> Do you think otherwise we had a really nice evening that night? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think there were moments where like, we were like, yeah, no, I really do. Yeah, it is bullshit how the B Bounty Hunters Guild yeah. <laughs> takes that percentage of our cuts. Yeah. 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 Is your relationship with your mentor really fucked up as well? Yeah. God, yeah. If only we didn't hate each other so much. <laughs> and, like, I feel like there's a flashback to that scene and then flash forward to this smaller battlefield. Yeah. And so I'll, like, sneak into your place. Yeah. Um, Get your cat in a little little kitty basket. <laughs> Cause is, like, it, is it is it like radiation proof? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I know you've done all the prep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like a lead lined cat cat box. It's really heavy. So I I'm really like, appreciate Ugh. that for my cat. Yeah, thank yeah. you. I'm just like this. Like depending on how this goes, your cat might die. So it might as well make its last. Like if if but it might survive. Who knows? You could just take my cat. You don't yeah. need to like. Yeah, I don't just, need to kill the cat. Yeah, I could just take it to live with my with my three eyed rabbit. Yeah, you can. Just turn, you can just feed my cat all the treats and they'll immediately go to you. Yeah, me, yeah. And that's what will break my heart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The classic come to mommy, come to yeah. daddy. Like, yeah. you, we, so I'm getting ideas, but you just put the cat out in the middle of the battlefield in like a kitty radiation suit. And it's, like, <laughs> it's like, who does the cat choose to come to? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, okay. So we don't um, roll for this, but we, okay. we do take actions. And then at, when the battle is at its peak, we do rock, paper, scissors to determine in the outcome okay so is it two out of three or just one round i think i think we have to go, mm, oh that's, stakes are high stakes are stakes high are high i don't know i don't know mm -hmm. audience what do you audience, think what do you say <laughs> right that's a pretty decisive voice yeah, there. yeah. excellent okay. good to know good to know okay um so yeah when i arrive at the battlefield i've got this lead lined cat carry case and the cat but the cat is also in a suit inside the carry case <laughs> <laughs> i am a very conscientious bounty hunter yeah. <laughs> really we're very polar opposite yeah. <laughs> 
yeah, so what are, what are you doing? Are you just kind of standing with your cloak billowing in the wind? Yeah, cloak billowing in the wind, and I'm just like monologuing to your partner being like, you see what he hath wrought. Are you playing a he, him? <laughs> um, I think any pronouns, yeah. You see what they have wrought. You see the destruction beheld on this battlefield. They are, they are a horrible individual. They... Kill for money. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, hey, you do too. <laughs> yes, but I'm not talking about me right now. <laughs> and, that, and, that, and kind of trying to poison the well with your mm. very cottage core romantic partner. Nice. See as you stand in radiation that he definitely caused. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> 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 and so I think I'm going to use my my like pet care mm-hmm. skill that I got mm-hmm. to like yeah to ply your cat with treats. Oh no. Oh god. And and just be like like and and I'm saying to my romantic partner like hey babe, hey babe. Hey babe. Hey babe. <laughs> Would, would, would an evil person do this? And then I'm just like scratching, <laughs> scratching the cat. <laughs> would an evil person do this? Hey, 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 babe. <laughs> psst, 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 psst. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. What's what's next? What's the what's the next? What what what's the kind of next level of this combat in enc- combat encounter? <laughs> it's me monologuing. I think. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I want to issue you some kind of ultimatum. Like I see, like I see you. You've stolen my gun as well now at this point, haven't you? Yeah. So yeah. I don't even have a gun. Yeah. I'm just out here monologuing <laughs> with no weapon. <laughs> uh, I think I think I'll do some kind of ultimatum. It's like, no, let my kitty go, <laughs> <laughs> or else I will. Do something really bad. Like you've not even seen the worst of what I can do, Spronk. I'll I'll be the worst dude you've ever met again. Well, actually that's quite convincing because you've already done some really bad stuff yeah. and you're very unpredictable, so I really I've don't know what's going everything happen. and I've got your romantic partner here. I've got nothing left to lose, my guy. I'm standing out here in radiation fields. Cool. Okay. Uh I am um, I am going to uh, I'm going to communicate with your cat using my because I am a cat person also so we have some kind of telepathic, telepathic bond. bond and I'm just like hey hey what's your cat's name? Uh, Gary. Gary, yes, good. It's short for Gary, fuck. Good. Uh, so hey Gary, uh, how how do you like living with this person? Uh, and the the cat, what what do you think the cat would be like? Do you think He's the cat? Fine. He feeds me like. Hangs up. You see, he's distracted lately. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I'm not getting yeah. as many scratches as I could be, you know? Mm, well, you know what? I give some really good scratches. You know those scratches earlier? You could have oh, those. Oh, fuck yeah. I love those. You oh. could have those every day for oh. the rest of your life. No way. Oh, shit. And I, I just got to come live with you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shit. He's really turned into this kind of voice, hasn't he? <laughs> the magic of improv. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, I think I might have to go with you, Spronk. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think that would be a good plan. And so I I, uh, I will tell you, uh, Squink, that I have, just, I have just communed with your noble beast. <laughs> and well, it Gary is, Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Gary, the noblest beast, Gary Fuck. Good. And Gary says that he wants to come and live with me. <gasps> Gary! No! That's that's my response. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. Um yeah. so uh yeah. Is there uh is there any indication of what your like big bad thing that you're gonna do is? I think I might like push your romantic partner into the nuke cave. And the nuke ca- like <laughs> Oh the crater. The crater, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like We're... the highly radioactive crater, like sure to be dead in that crater. Cool. Um, shall we? Nuclear again. Nice. I feel like, is this the point where we, we rock, paper, scissors? I think it is. Okay. Right. Just to read on the audience, who do you want to win? <laughs> at, this, at this stage, who do you feel is the better person? <laughs> Is it, is it, yeah, is it, is it, is it Squonk, the person who's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really treat this cat well, or is it the guy who nuked animals into oblivion? I don't know, what do you, what do you reckon? I mean, people love a villain arc. Pardon? Pardon? 
Yeah. Yeah. Ultimately, yeah. Gary, you should. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Let, let's okay. go. You ready? Wait, we should move the laptop so people can see. Yes. All right, everyone full got a good view? Full transparency. Where are we going? One, two, three. One, one two, shoot. three. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. One, one two, two, three. three shoot. <gasps> For the audience at home. I. <laughs> Have paper and I have scissors. <laughs> my my romantic partner is going in the radioactive goo. So I think do I should I narrate what happened? Yes, please. I think I push you, your partner, v- villain style, billowing black cape into the crater. You maybe launch yourself after them, mm. um, and then I just like pick up Gary and like. Good boy. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And then my life is kind of hollow and empty, but I got Gary. But I got Gary. Yeah. And that's the important thing. Is that the end of the game? That's, yeah. (laughs) I think Gary's like, (laughs) ah, shit. (laughs) I thought I was in for the good times and now back to a world of no scritches. I am the true victim here. It's me, Gary Fuck. <laughs> the end. <laughs> yeah, the the last uh, the last two questions on uh, the on the game are: What does the winner do with the remaining core? Presumably, not give enough scratches. Yep. And then the last question is: Was it worth all this? <laughs> so I'm gonna leave that for the audience to yeah. decide. I, Was yeah. it worth it? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> give me, give me. Everyone who thinks yes, please just shout. (laughs) The deafening silence. (laughs) Everyone who thinks no, give a cheer. What do you reckon, Maddie? Yeah, I think I think this was possibly escalated quite a lot. Maybe. (laughs) Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. 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 So yeah, how how do you like this system? I think it's really silly. (laughs) (laughs) But I enjoyed myself. I don't know. I don't know. I think it was fun. Did everyone else have a good time? Good. I think that was really fun. Yeah. Thank you for letting me come play with you, Maddie. Yeah, thank you so much for playing with me. Yeah, and thank you everyone for watching. Now that's all the time we have for today's episode. Thank you so much for listening to A Game of One's Own. And don't forget to head to co-fi.com slash snazzy tapir if you want to support A Game of One's Own and get fun extras like shout outs and behind the scenes content. See you next time. <laughs>